you need to train yourself to understand that your feeling is insignificant it is it doesn't matter in the equation of things a lot of times we ignore that our health can actually make us unproductive i have this here and this has really really helped me hey guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is venary bello and i hope you enjoyed this video enough to stick around let's get right into the video so today we're going to be talking about how to get things done aka how to exit your lazy girl era become more productive and fulfill your dreams because you can't pursue your goals and fulfill your dreams without being productive they go hand in hand and this video is not a video about all the theories and what i've read this is actually something that has worked for me i used to be very unproductive i'm not even gonna lie at some point i was a lazy girl but all of these things I'm about to share with you guys have helped me and I'm pretty sure it's going to help somebody too. So stick to this video and thank me later. At the end of this video, I'm going to kind of be giving you guys an assignment or an exercise for you to do something you need to do, you know, that's going to get you on track. So you do want to stay at least to that point so that you get the activity running and get productive at the end of the day. The first thing I'm going to talk about here is your health. A lot of times we ignore that our health can actually make us unproductive. There are certain things that we're eating that's not actually helping us, not actually helping us to build blood. And it's also going to affect us when you don't have enough blood, you're going to break all the time. When you have certain deficiencies, you're also not going to be productive. Like maybe you need calcium, you need iron or magnesium or whatever it is, you're not going to be productive, okay? I have this here and this has really, really helped me. How did I get to know that I needed a supplement? This is actually a magnesium supplement. By the way, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not actually going to recommend anything for anybody in this video. I'm just going to be telling you what worked for me and hopefully you apply it and it works for you too, right? So I used to be very tired. Like I wake up in the morning tired. I would literally wake up and be like, oh my God, I'm so tired. And my friends would be like, how can you be tired when you just woke up? <laughs> but I was really tired. I wasn't just being a lazy girl by nature i was just really tired and then i realized when i went for checkup you know you just go to your doctor explain to your doctor these are the things that are happening i feel this way i feel that way and then they're gonna find a solution for you the same thing that i did and then i realized that i was actually short of blood i was anemic and then i also needed a magnesium supplement to help me sleep better you know and all of the things that magnesium supplement does for you and now i am very very active i am very active i sleep well i wake up with all of the energy and this has really helped me to be able to put other practices into action and become more productive so one of the first things you need to pay attention to is your health you might be feeling tired all day because of a deficiency or because of something so you need to figure that out first before any other thing number two you need to train your mind to trust you again a lot of us have broken the trust that we have in ourselves that our mind our being has in us because all of those times that we're supposed to show up we didn't show up so our mind is now like oh, she's not gonna show up there is no need to stress yourself preparing for her trying to show up okay so you need to build trust and this is also one of the places where i'm going to be giving you an exercise for you to do but first of all let me explain something to you so you can understand what i actually mean by um you losing trust yourself actually losing trust in you if that makes sense or your mind actually losing trust in you okay let's say you have two friends friend a and friend b all right friend a has always been consistent right you maybe you guys have a plan and you're like okay let's meet up on tuesday for a particular project right and friend a gets ready on tuesday meets you up on tuesday you're ready you prepared you probably even cooked for your friends so that you guys can have a good time while working and he shows up and then another day you're like let's meet up again another day and your friend shows up and it goes on and on and your friend just keeps showing up when he's supposed to show up and then friend b you're like let's meet up for a particular project on wednesday and he doesn't show up you're very prepared and all of that he doesn't show up it happens next time he doesn't show up by the third time i'm very very sure that you're not going to be prepared for friend b you're gonna be like if he shows up he shows up i'm not gonna stress myself or waste my time trying to prepare for friend b now that's how our mind also works okay most of us have broken the trust that 
our mind and ourself have in us because we've refused to show up. Now you have to build that trust. Now, how do you gain back the trust? I want you to pick something that you're going to consistently be doing. Like me, I picked exercise, okay? I have an exercise routine that I do every day. No matter how tired I am, I'm going to do it. The only thing I, I, I do, maybe if I'm too tired, is maybe I cut down on the number of times I'm supposed to do an exercise. Maybe I'm supposed to squat 20 times, I'll reduce it to 10 or 15 times, depending on how tired I am, right? So this is one of the things that I did to gain back the trust. This will help you build discipline. This will help you build resilience. And this will help you not give a damn about how you feel. Because how you feel is also one of the points that I'm going to be talking about, right? So this is going to help you build trust back in yourself. So pick something that you're going to be doing. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to be waking up by this time every day for one week. Just try one week first. Don't do too much. And don't pick something that's so easy for you to do. Like, I'm going to be combing my hair every morning. That's so simple. Something that is a little bit hard, but something that you feel like you can still be consistent at, right? So you just when you train your mind to trust you again, because you're always showing up for this particular thing when you say you're going to show up. Maybe if you're a student, you're like, okay, after class, I'm going to read for 30 minutes before any other play or any other movie or any other thing, right? That is how you consistently try to build trust and then your body, your being, everything around you, even, even the energy around you begin to trust you. And then when you're like, I'm going to do this, they start getting ready for you to do that thing because they know that you're going to show up for that thing. So they also want to show up. For the sake of this exercise and you know being disciplined and all of that, you might want to write down whatever you're choosing to do in the comment section. That would start by keeping you accountable. The third thing that you're going to start doing is learn how to control your feelings, right? Try not to think too much. Try not to think too much about the past and try not to think too much about the future. Keep your mind in the present. Now, this is what happens when you think too much about the future or the past. You think too much about the past, you have regrets. You think too much about the future, you start to worry, okay? And all of those energy, all of those feelings doesn't help you stay focused in the present. In the present. <laughs> all of those feelings doesn't help you stay focused in the present. And you have to stay focused. If you don't stay focused and do the things that you need to do for the results that you're supposed to get in future, your entire life will be ruined because there's nothing you can do about the past. So regretting and talking about the past is not going to help you. So you have to let that go. You have to let that feeling go of regret and understand that. Give yourself grace and understand that you're getting better. You're just human. You're going to be a better person. Okay. Don't think too much about the future because thinking too much about the future is just going to help you make you worry and be anxious for nothing because there's nothing you can do about the future than focus on the present and try to make the future better so the reason you're not thinking too much about the future is because you're trying to conserve all the positive energy to put in the work that you have to do right now to become productive because if you're productive in the now then your future is going to be better your future is going to be great so what's the point of worrying about the future when the future is actually dependent on what you do now. One of the ways to train your mind to stop worrying about the future or the past is also to write affirmations, right? Um, this affirmation is a little bit different. You're going to write affirmations for what you want to become in the present, not even what you want to become in the future per se. Let's say you're a shitty friend and you know, you're not always showing up for your friends. You write in the affirmation, I show up for my friend. I'm a better person. I am this, I am that. That's how you do it. If you, or you want to become a more productive person and you want to get things done, you you like, I, Benary Bello, sorry, I'm using my name because I only know myself. I, Benary Bello, get things done. I am productive. I am not lazy. I have the energy to do things. I show up when I need to show up. All of those things write them down and they're really really going to help you one of the other ways you can um try to keep your mind in the present is by um meditation right i personally don't do this i, I don't know i'm not really a meditation kind of person but people say it helps to keep your mind in the present because meditation is basically you focusing your mind on a particular thing at that time so this might actually help you the first thing you need to do to help you to get things done is disregard your feelings your feelings doesn't matter your feelings are not your friend the way you feel 
is not your friend okay one of the things that actually stop people from doing what they need to do is considering their feelings okay you're not gonna feel like doing something half the time you're not gonna feel like doing something out of time i don't know why that is but that is just how it is you're gonna feel like doing things very few times more of the time you don't feel like doing them which is actually sad i really wish we actually would always feel like doing something but that's not how it works so you have to train yourself to show up whether you feel something or not your feelings doesn't matter you need to train yourself to understand that your feeling is insignificant it is it doesn't matter in the equation of things let me use an example take for instance you feeling pressed right you're in your house you have a toilet but you're feeling pressed but the rain is falling won't you go and ease yourself the, the fact that the rain is falling or the fact that the sun is shining is not going to stop you from walking into the bathroom to ease yourself same thing with your feelings the fact that you don't feel like doing something is not going to stop you from standing up to do that thing your feelings don't actually effing matter train your mind to understand that and you'll be amazed at how you actually start caring less about how you feel before going to do a particular attack that's one of the reasons why you have to do that exercise of picking something that you do every time you know picking something that you do for the week extend it to a very long time but i'm just starting with a week you get that will actually train you to become resilient to the feeling of oh i don't want to do this and then you show up to do it and one of the beautiful thing about this is that most of the time when you start to do something you realize that you actually enjoy doing it you just wear lazy or don't feel like doing it but it's not as if you don't like that particular attack you just don't feel like doing it and that feeling is your enemy so you have to practice getting rid of trying to always please how you feel it doesn't matter in the scheme of things the next thing is do some exercise one of the reason i picked exercise to be um the activity i was going to do to train my mind to trust me again is also because exercise is actually very important and beneficial to our health right and i talked about health as the first point and this has really helped exercising has actually been proven to help the brain it's actually been proven to help with antidepressants i saw an article of them talking about exercise they said that when you're actually exercising it's like you're contracting you're contracting your muscles right and when you contract your muscles that it kind of releases a protein for the brain so it feeds your brain with what it needs to function properly so exercise is actually very important you cannot lose by exercising what are you going to lose you have more to gain and less to lose it also builds resilience it also builds discipline it also builds strength you don't have to start big you don't have to start carrying weights and doing so many big things <laughs> start small just maybe five or three or six routines you can start with those ones and it would actually go a long way in helping you build resilience build trust build you know consistency and discipline the next thing is involve the supernatural i always talk about god not because i feel like talking about it i am one of the most unsentimental person when it comes to faith but i talk about it because we actually need the supernatural you can't do everything by yourself you need help okay i don't know whichever god you serve pray to that god to help you i actually am a christian and I pray to God and I don't want you to do the kind of um, normal routine prayer where people just close their eyes and then pray to God and all of that I want you to talk to him like he's your friend don't close your eyes open your eyes and be like hi God this is your daughter this is your friend I need your help I am ready to take my life seriously and I want you to miss me halfway I'm ready to become productive I'm ready to put in the work and I need you to hold my hands. I need you to be there for me. I can't do this by myself. Talk to him like you're talking to your friend. I have these weaknesses. I, I always sleep too much. I don't, I don't show up when I'm supposed to show up. I'm always procrastinating. And I can't succeed without your help. I'm ready to do all the things that I need to do to get to that point. But I need you to help me. Talk to him like a friend because he's your friend and trust him because you know that he loves you all right i don't know why some people talk to god like you're talking to one distant person 
talk to him and be sincere from your heart tell him to hold your hands tell him you can't do it by yourself tell him you need him say mention all the things that you are actually doing that's stopping you from doing and getting to the point that you want to get to say it lay it out to him talk to him and first of all you instantly feel better talking to god and he's gonna start showing up for you as long as you're ready to put in the work you're gonna meet god halfway tell him that you know like i'm on this earth because you still have a purpose for me i am ready to fulfill that purpose but i can't fulfill that purpose with this laziness of mine i can't fulfill that purpose with this procrastination of mine i need you to hold my hands i need you to help me talk to him and he would help you he would show up for you in an amazing way you're just gonna receive another level of strength to go through this entire journey so this is the end of this video and i really do hope that you've gotten something from this video if you're a new person here i really do hope that this video has inspired you to stay with us um thanks for watching to this point i'll see you in my next video oh don't forget to do the exercise i said you should do and write down the thing that you actually want to the activity that you actually want to start doing to help you trust in yourself to help your mind be trusting yourself i also appreciate if you can like this video it would actually encourage me just like this video let me know that you guys liked this video and enjoyed it bye see you in my next video